All right, now, as the Democrats push their radical Green New Deal agenda, which will destroy the lifeblood of our economy and take away air travel and cow meat and the automobile as we know it and roll back the president's progress and, by the way, give up the single biggest profit center in our energy, which is our energy sector, and nationalize everything, we decided to send our own Lawrence Jones out to the swamp in D.C. to get reaction to all this insanity. Take a look. I'm sure you've heard about Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's Green New Deal. Yeah. Uh, part of that plan would get rid of planes. Uh, I just don't really see that as um, an option or very realistic. I mean, I, I think that we really do need to take um, really drastic actions to reduce carbon emissions. Getting rid of planes, is that reasonable? Planes? Planes. The things we use to fly from city to city. That's exactly right. Okay, that's outrageous. <laughs> really? She also wants to get rid of 99% of cars. 99% of cars uh, is definitely possible. How do we get around? Uh, well, we switch over from fossil fuel uh, gas-powered cars to get, uh, electric power. What about 99% of cars? Oh, my heck. No, seriously. Really? Really. She also believes in education for all. It's a good idea, but maybe that's a better idea than getting a wall. I, I don't agree with everything she's saying. I also don't agree with the part of, what she say, abolishing uh, farting cows, too. I think she wants us all to be vegetarian. <laughs> yeah. When we get rid of all the farting cows, how do we eat? Yeah. <laughs> I guess we eat green plants. Who hates steak? I mean, we all love steak, right? Yeah. Nancy Pelosi, who's a Democrat and the Speaker of the House. I call it the green dream. Mm -hmm. Is this a dream? I think it is a dream. Uh, I think it's a dream we should aspire to. This is insane. So I, I guess you're a no-go on the green deal. Total no-go, my goodness. All right, here with Reaction Now, Fox News contributors Lawrence Jones, Jessica Tarlov. Um, okay, well, tell us exactly what part of the, the new green deal that you don't like. You want, do you want to keep the cows? Can we keep them? I'm a big fan of cows. You I'm like a big fan of okay. eating Can we cows. keep the airplanes? We can keep the plans. Uh, okay, so how we're not... else will I go to my global elite meetings? I know. Everywhere? How will we get to Europe? How will we get to Australia? <laughs> well, how will Maisie Hirano get home? Do you think every home? American it... should have guaranteed health care, guaranteed housing, guaranteed college, guaranteed everything that Ocasio Cortez? We talked about it I'm this asking. last week That's as well. That's a question. I, I think that she is making a moral argument about what life and and should be like. It's a resolution that's Americans non binding. Will be you want me to re I'll listen. It's a non binding resolution. A non-binding resolution. It's six pages yeah, of suggestions. Okay. But, but it's nonsense. You don't know how a to do it. A bill of rights <laughs> guaranteeing... Well, taxes. Sean's going to pay for it. Sustaining wage, family medical leave, vacation, yeah. retirement, co college, trade school, it's healthy food. I can't wait till the government picks our food. <laughs> Housing, <laughs> rebuilding every home's... Economic security for all who are unable or even unwilling to work. It's impractical. It's not going to happen. It's a starting point for a conversation. It's a radical it's dossier that can't be funded. Um, it, it, here's the deal. This reminds me of FDR because normally when Well, they that's have, what she wants. Well, exactly. And you know who got discriminated against? Poor people, minorities. There were red lines that boxed minorities out of their communities. Um, so if we want to repeat, then we know the communities that it's going to affect, which a lot of progressives say they advocate for those minorities. Yeah. So how, how, it's how not that getting implemented. I mean, even if you saw, like, Sherrod Brown But why today, would she suggest that? Though, well, Jess? she wants to make an argument that we need more justice in this country for the underserved. And I take your point about the New Deal and also FDR had a majority, which is not what's going on here. Um, and that we need to be investing more in our country. So that is, you know, you start making the jokes about bridges to nowhere, but that is more investment in infrastructure jobs. She had talked about public and private partnerships. She knows this is in all government. But oh, again, so now she wants to work with those same businesses that she wants to overtax. And she thinks they're going to be willing. She wants them to, to pay their fair share. Just like FDR, there were three Listen, times uh, th three times the amount of tax increases. Are we going to do the same thing under this deal? I don't those think same exactly. businesses are going to want to work with you, right? 
I just said it's impractical. I said it's not going to happen. It is a conversation okay, starter. Okay, if it's impractical and none of these things are going to happen. Not, none of them. Excuse they, me. Why did we have almost 100 other Democrats signing on to the new Green Deal? I want... I want an up or down vote in the House and the they're Senate. They're going to get it, and they're going to do exactly what they did. I can't wait. I want to know how many Medicare people support this. Bernie no, Sanders. There is, is no way Jessica signs on this because she's a capitalist. <laughs> she, she loves her money, and I do. there's no way she I'm, would support a plan like this. I'm scared. I actually reasonable. think my taxes went up, so I'm supposed to have See? gotten a break. Um, if you look at Sherrod Brown, well, who I believe will be driving. Only go higher. <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> That's it. All the cool kids are paying more. Yeah. Um, if you listen to Sherrod Brown, who I believe will be entering the presidential race, he didn't sign on to the Green New Deal. He said, I don't need to sign on to this to prove my progressive bona fides. There are people who are already in the race that have signed on to okay. a non-binding resolution me, to indicate that they are interested. This will destroy America's economy. This it's, is, it's listen, I'm happening. taking this seriously. You're taking it seriously. Of, of course. Oh, uh, I'm Nancy a joke, Pelo sir. Even Nancy Pelosi is taking this seriously. She calls it a dream. That means she's not taking it seriously. She essentially clapped like she this said at it's her. The dream deal. She wasn't yeah. clapped like no, that. No, no, that was her first time with the shade clap. Oh, okay. for sure. Is that what that's called? I, know, I mean, it, there, it's also called the fu clap. But <laughs> we're on television. So you're saying that Nancy Pelosi did that to Congresswoman Ocasio Cortez? Didn't you see how flip she was about it? She goes, and Alexander Ocasio Cortez, what's a green dream? And then she moved on. Everyone knows it's a six-page non-binding resolution that is that supposed she to start. That she her now she's running away from her own uh, proposal. Well, no, she needed to revise it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she needed to revise it after everyone started mocking it and making fun of it and laughing at you guys, it. I don't know what you're doing here. I haven't disagreed with you. I can't wait to our... see the, the high speed train to Australia and New Zealand. Uh, that I mean, would be fun. All, all aboard the Ocasio don't... Express. Guys, it will be broad for an up and down vote. People will just all vote board. present like they did at Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All vote. Well, that's Mitch right. They're going to tax us, rob will, us. Look like a dummy. And then, and then we'll we will all take go another home, bite at the and apple. And Democrats will win in Eliminate all health care. And I won't have to hear about Donald Trump anymore. Oh, and and everything will abortion. be good in this world. <laughs> what do you bring really a late term abortion at the end of a segment like that? Late term abortion. That's what your party now? represents. That is not what my party, my party represents. You got to run. Quality right. health care for women. <laughs> So not only dumb and totally ignorant of everything, but utterly self-assured. If there were a clinical exam for self-esteem, she'd be in the 100th percentile. <laughs> How do people get like that? Is it our education system? Is it high schools? Is it colleges? We wanted to talk to someone on the front lines of this who might know the answer. Nicholas Giordano is a professor of political science at Suffolk Community College, and he joins us tonight. Professor, thanks very much for coming on. Hi, Tom. So there's a certain recognizable syndrome here where the people who know the least are the most self-confident. Where does that come from? Well, it's the, it's the lack of critical thinking that exists. It's the superficial arguments they make that are completely unrealistic. If you look at the Green New Deal, it's incomprehensible. And when you're looking at it, she says the world's going to end in... 12 years. So if we go with this plan and have to rebuild every building, it took us 13 years just to build the Freedom Tower, for instance. Six years to build the Tappan Zee Bridge. Imagine having <laughs> to do every single building in the United States up to new codes. It's just not going to work. And it's that they, they don't ask deep questions. The arguments are, it sounds good, people will support it because it's government giving us stuff, and, and so it's okay. But there are real consequences when you actually talk like this, because there are people that are going to take it seriously. You have a number of presidential candidates that have agreed with her plan. And when you're looking at the plan itself, you can't understand anything in it. It would lead to millions of people being underemployed or unemployed. Maybe they could learn code. Who knows? It would lead to unconstitutional state violations, because state and local governments are in charge of building codes. And so my question to her would be, has she read the Constitution, knows about the Tenth Amendment and state no, rights? No, no, no. But you heard, wait, but I think it's a fundamental misunderstanding. You heard her say what matters is that she's a really good person and you're not. And so I'm thinking as I'm watching this, remember that whole fad where we're supposed to give our kids self-esteem and that was the panacea? Did we create people like this when we did that? Well, we did. Two things. The motto of the customer is always right created an entitlement culture, yeah. and then our children are precious also created the entitlement culture, uh, culture where everyone gets the trophy. When you're looking at it and you're trying to challenge the minds of the youth, they, they try and push back because they don't want to critically analyze the information to see if it really works. Page 10. 
of her new deal talks about uh, creating public ownership and receiving a percentage of compensation for the public ownership. Well, that's socialism. That's the very definition of socialism, and nobody's called her out on it in this yeah. sense. And it didn't work out so well for Venezuela. So is it really <laughs> going to work out well for us? No. No. Not, I mean, I don't know. It's been great for, I guess, weight loss in Venezuela. They're starving. They are. Eating, but that, Eating that, zoo animals. No, and that's part of our problem. It, it's, there, there's no critical thinking. And not only do you have that part, you have even more concerning. It talks about persons of the United States. It doesn't say U.S. citizens or U.S. persons, which is the definition of citizen and legal residents. No, you're right. So that raises the question. Is anyone, anyone? anyone who shows up gets to take your stuff. I mean, you, you can see where this is going. Professor, we're out of time, unfortunately. I, I commend you for having the patience to try and train a more impressive next generation of critical thinkers. Thank you for that. No problem.